Hello, this is Daniel Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide. I caught a cold on the way back uh, from Manchester on the plane, and so that's why I've been kind of out of it. And if I still don't sound 100%, uh, it's because I still haven't completely gotten rid of the cold. Uh, but I wanted to do this video. In fact, I've got a whole list of videos that I want to do, and I need to get started on them. Um, so the first is has to do with the Squadron 42 um, teaser trailer, and that's uh, the gameplay reveal that we got. After the new introduction play uh, through at Sizzling uh, Manchester, I heard some expressions that there seemed to be a lot of cutscene background information before you finally got the chance to do some actual flying or combat, in this case manning the turret to defeat the incoming Vanduul fighters. And I'm not going to say that our opinion is wrong. For some adrenaline addicted players, any delay is too long of a delay. No, my attention was drawn to a different question, and that was whether it was unusually long for its intended type of game, specifically a Chris Roberts space player single-player space opera interactive movie. And my memory seemed to say, no, his games always had long intros. But obviously, none of those memories are recent, so I decided to conduct a test. Around YouTube, you can find playthrough videos of pretty much any game ever made. So it did not take too long to find playthroughs, no commentary, of all the old Wing Commander games. So at the top left, we write, so at the top row, left to right, we have Wing Commander, Wing Commander Vengeance of the Kilrathi, Wing Commander Heart of the Tiger, and on the second row, left, right to left, we left to right, we have Wing Commander The Price of Freedom, Wing Commander Prophecy, and in the lower right corner, the Squadron 42 Introduction. And I'm going to just let the playthroughs run until the player creating them has their first combat experience. Now, obviously, I have no control over how that player uh, went about their playthrough. I don't know, you know, have no control about how long they stayed on a certain person or uh, whether they skipped steps or whatever. Um, now, obviously, I have no control, and so uh, this is not a perfect test. Now, I thought to leave all the audio tracks playing simultaneously or switching rapidly between them, but that proved to be just plain annoying, so I'm going to leave one soundtrack at a time be audible, leaning towards the oldest one that still hasn't finished. And showing them side by side, they made a good representation of the evolution of computer game technology. Wing Commander 1 came on three floppy disks. You know, remember those things? Either five and a half or three and a quarter inches in size. Now, you don't remember those. They contained either 1.2 or 1.44 megabytes of data. Wing Commander 2 came on six of the same type of floppy disk. Wing Commander 3 switched to coming on CD-ROMs, four of them to be precise, and these uh, CD-ROMs could hold 700 megabytes, so presumably the game could have 2.8 gigabytes theoretical maximum size. Wing Commander 4 was the first to come on a DVD drive, which could hold 4.7 gigabytes in a single surface drive and 85 gigabytes on a dual layer one. Now, I don't know what the download for Squadron 42 will look like, but it will certainly be far longer than any of those. And soon, four... <coughs> so, With that size, you know, we have different forms of animation. Wing Commander 1 and 2 were using 8-bit graphics in rotoscope. Um, no sound at all. Um, no voiceovers. Um, Wing Commander 3, uh, we had very low resolution um, actual video scenes. But uh, for space size, they were at low resolution and a very lossy form of compression. And here we have, we're just coming up to the first. Wing Commander 1 had 4 minutes and 46 seconds of introduction. Which when you consider that it was coming on three floppy disks, 
is actually dedicating a fair amount of the content of the game to those that inter- those four and a three quarter um, minutes of introduction. Now coming in a little bit behind it, we still have the rotoscope of the Wing Commander 2. So there's really relatively little difference uh, between Wing Commander 1 and Wing Commander 2 in terms of the technology. And it does feel clunky, but campy and cute in its own way. And now our hero is getting clicked into his uh, ship. And we're off. <coughs> up to the flight deck At I five minutes and 58 launches. seconds, just shy of six minutes of introduction for Wing Commander 2. Now next we've switched close. over to the no, Squadron sir. 42 the um, soundtrack. Nimble, Let me give a few comments Nimble, about this, some of the things remains, that sure surprised like me about sir. the Squadron 42 gameplay reveal. One of the things that surprised me uh, was that I had not realized that the um, Admiral Bishop's um, I Held the Line speech actually occurs right near the start. Uh, It it occurs in the original uh, backup material, which I did not expect because the uh, character of the speech, um, the fact it had you know, lots of nods to uh, probably the most famous pre-battle pep talk, um, Henry V's um, speech before the Battle of Agincroft. If you compare, there are certain um, uh, parallels. Uh, I I think that uh, um, when someone had to write Bishop's speech, they they went back to uh, the original source, so to speak. So I was surprised that it was an early on thing. I suspect there may be another similar speech before the final battle. There, it would be reasonable to expect that there would be. I am presuming that Squadron 42 will have the same sort of branching mission structure that Wing Commander 2 had, a losing path and a, a winning path. Now, something that's different compared to, say, Wing Commander 2, I mean, really any of the Wing Commanders, is that during this preliminary, we have control over our movement. So it it probably will feel a lot more interactive than those old uh, Wing Commanders, uh, even though uh, we aren't actually uh, going to have control over events. Having um, some uh, agency over how you go and how you do things and what you do uh, will make this feel um, less just sitting there and watching uh, than any of the other old wing commanders. We're able to, in our version, to uh, in, in Squadron 42, be able to stop and look and look around um, as we wish. Uh, in any of the wing commanders, you could you had control over clicking and then being able to see what happens behind that click in that room, but there was no actual movement control. But still, I'm going to call it the same because, again, we, this is all giving us background uh, before we actually get into the combat itself. Um, it, we have a lot of uh, chatter. Uh, in fact, it seemed like the, the chatter was remarkably casual for the fact that the whole ship is just about ready to go into uh, a major battle. You know, they've, they've called general quarters on the turrets. Um, but still, um, it's, it isn't exactly fair to one-to-one compare them. Um, also, Richard uh, did not rush. He did not, uh, he did not press shift. He did not crank up the scroll wheel. He's uh, definitely t- letting us appreciate every um, little thing we can see and interact with. So it isn't quite apples to apples in terms of how it feels to the user. 
But still, they were, you know, people were justified to say it's taking a long time before we actually get into uh, shooting things. Now we're going to head back to the... Um, And I'm Set. sure that if you wanted to, if you're and as impatient as a typical player, you're going to yeah. be holding the shift key down and you're going to be uh, uh, cranking the scroll wheel up. They're not going to be... They will probably have some ways of encouraging you to, uh, to, take, to stop and smell the roses, but you won't actually have to. You would only actually have to look at the computer screens and stuff but little details like that have always been something that Chris Roberts has wanted to make part of his uh, his space game so oh, what we're doing news. here you could probably if you were trying for a speed ship, run so get through in probably a third <laughs> of the uh, the time even if you uh, even if there is no hit escape key to uh, this is Captain to fast forward, which is generally orange. not something that, C now, that Chris Roberts stations. puts in his games. He wants you to, uh, he doesn't want you to completely ignore uh, the world that you're in, because hey. you know that is in Look. large part what they're creating. See you, up there. you got so it. We get our fist bump here. Heading further towards, uh, looks like we should pick up the pace goofy, a get little the bit. Hell out of there. We get Goofy coming out. I'm so glad you could join us. I want you calibrated and ready to fire in five here. Then we sit down. And up we go. And at the top. They activate the turret and squadron 42, 12 minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, I, I Again, I think we could fires. probably shorten it considerably, Waiting. but 12 minutes and 22 seconds actually is the third shortest of all the Wing Commander series. So it's, um, it's not unusual. In fact, this is on the low side. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh. <laughs> nice lift off uh, We're now for a dinosaur <laughs> listening to uh, but a few eons since you held a flight Wing stick, Commander huh, Colonel? 4 or did you find some sand uh, princess to hold it for you back there <laughs> price of freedom in the lower yeah, left hand corner but you can't say you haven't missed and we're heading to space there Wing Randy. Commander 4 13 minutes the and 9 ship. seconds again fairly similar and what we're doing to, to the Brainiac Squadron upstairs. 42 <laughs> sorry and now we got plenty of time, and so divisions. I'm going to. Uh, anyway, it all gets distilled down to the screen. I'm going to instead of waiting until the end Jeez. to talk about the giveaways, I'm going to talk about the giveaways now because you we've know? got some changes happening with the giveaways. Uh, the first is that we are really, really, we're only 80 subscribers away from uh, being able to give away the Zeus CL. So, come on, guys. Uh, 80 subscribers. I know there's Senator well Taggart more than speak. that number of people <laughs> unsubscribed, so you know, not subscribers. We're here every day. And we're watching fact, these uh, videos regularly. Uh, YouTube says I have about a 50 50 subscriber, non subscriber rate. rate. A wealthy man. Um, yeah. So, you see, all, Dallas does it for the cash. So, it's not just a job and all that. Get those last 80 subscribers, and maybe you'll be you? the one getting cash. the uh, Zeus CL. Now, How much money do you think once, now you'll notice some other things. The first is that I have uh, renamed the CU at CitizenCon membership level. They put all their eggs into and one the CU at CitizenCon no membership level is now called Ray's Captains. Matter. So I have Ray's Captains and Ray's uh, crew. And, and the Captains so are going to be there. for well, capital uh, items. After all, in other words, hardware. 
And the very first uh, raised captain's item I'm going to be giving away is a pair of BKB joysticks. Mostly because I need a pair of BKB joysticks too. So I'll just be kind of a one for you and one for me. Um, And we we should be able to be able to have those pretty soon. Um, And then there'll be other things. Uh, Because I'm not I'm not quite as big enough a uh, uh, subscriber base that uh, hardware companies just uh, throw demo samples at me uh, whenever and wherever. Although if they did, I'd be more than happy to give them um, thorough and detailed reviews. And um, he's a good pilot. So, Always followed orders. the first change is raised captain. Big mouth shot. We're going to be giving away some BKB joysticks. The second change you will notice is that I've sweetened the second um, giveaway, uh, the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. You'll now have a choice of the Arasta or the Bayonu Merchantman. Uh, Goodbye, career. I basically realize that not everybody needs or is interested in Don't feel so bad. the... Um, Arasta, I hear there's always and so the it did not make war. a good uh, reward for the broad variety of players. Uh, Let's get you a drink. I suspect between out. the Arasta and the Merchantman, there's there's something for uh, there's a choice for everybody, and so that's going to be. Uh, so I've added that. I may also, once the uh, Zeus Two is given away, look at the possibility of a more short-term uh, giveaway in the ship area, in which case um, day at work, oh, yeah. I've been on that will be, uh, and I've it, it might be something like every a senior uh, star, officer in sight, uh, star Lancer including Commodore or something. Blair. Uh, so that's going to be happening. Stop right As you there, see, with these last two, Wing Commander 3 this here. and Wing Commander 5, are much, much longer introductions than any of the other Wing Commanders did. Um, it's like captain. once Chris Roberts had the ability to do to Blair. Um, uh, blue screen and green screen with actors, he uh, did not, w- and That's having the, the size of this for a Jeez, DVD, come? Uh, or huh. in, this, or in the case of Wing Commander 3, yeah. uh, a, a set of four CDs wasn't that, uh, All right. it was, Let's uh, get started. he, we he have did a not, plans. he did not spare As of the, now, uh, the midway the is on full alert And so if status. anything, uh, Squadron 42 hours we is what a bit appeared to um, be a Kilrothi distress contrary call. to the general is pattern to verify this message that, uh, fragment, but so far CIG. whoever sent it has stopped I mean, transmitting. That's that, that Chris Roberts, Since we're the closest vessel, uh, took for the HQ has ordered series. us to assess And Squadron the 42 is an, an, uh, Attention, entirely the, the spiritual successor of the Wing Commander series. As you work. It's not, Sorry to interrupt, although, Commander. you know, Freelancer well, and Starlancer from our more recent game. Patrol has jumped uh, ahead to the Hureka system. A number of things. This is a need to know for all squads. Uh, focus on the military. Open channel 3-1. The, uh, 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 the, the, the scrappy hero. Of fighters, uh, but didn't get them all before they got hit. All of that has Squadron 42 much get more akin two, to the Wing groups. Commander games than uh, other Chris Rocks. And, uh... Seems to have missed most of the blast. Whatever hit him completely obliterated so, the whole So, again, fleet. for the um, uh, As no giveaway, contact can be established with uh, any Kilrathi ships. You remember for automatic entry Colonel that will Decker, continue. That as of now, uh, or subscribe operation. and comment with the secret word. Now, this Wait. will also have to apply to the All right, before we begin. Uh, raise cap Lieutenant Casey for the uh, Lieutenant Talvert has recommended you lead the Diamond Bats. Because Based on According your to the rules, record. and well, frankly, this the is law, highly, um, highly unusual, in Lieutenant. order for this not this to not be a, a lottery, uh, and Don't I am not her. legally permitted Pilots, in the U.S. Now check your ISIS else, mission else details to and conduct assignments. a lottery, there has to be a your free way of yeah, into also the entering system. it. So um, the usual uh, secret word method will also put you potentially in the uh, running for the BKB joysticks. However, I'll work. I'll be working the numbers so that the um, the people that are raised captains uh, 
will have Your much much bigger opportunity to win than just someone that does the uh, the uh, LC will dock with the damaged ship and Colonel Decker will lead a detachment of Marines aboard to recover just the ship's the, uh, data log and locate any survivors. Because uh, that is uh, when the Marines have returned to their uh, ship, what escort we're doing, them uh, back to the Midway. Because again, I, I, uh, the whole purpose is to have a way of getting uh, more valuable uh, giveaways. Before I dismiss you, I believe Commodore Blair has a few words. Commodore? So even if, you know, as you may know, the earlier the wing commanders, Midway wing commander is not three yet fully four, which we're seeing, and for many of you, um, move along slowly to their end. The um, I think Chris Roberts um, Keep in mind, was intentionally your confed's um, very best. low key in the pacing out there. of these er, of these other introductions. Um, the um, the Squadron luck, 42 people. intro puts you right Dismissed. in the middle of battle very quickly, even though not right in the middle of actually sh shooting war. Um, hey, thanks for the opportunity. I won't let you down. Forget it, Lieutenant. Just make There's a sure much I higher uh, sorry, level yes. of pacing in the Squadron 42 intro than there wasn't any of the Wing Commander intros. A lot more personality development, but yes. um, <laughs> I on. think what uh, Chris Roberts is going for is letting, in, in Squadron 42, let you define what your character's personality is rather than uh, your playing Commander Blair. Or Captain Blair, or Admiral Blair. So we're just about ready to get to the end. And the secret word for this video is the place a uh, one through six that Squadron Forty Two fits in terms of having the longest introductory So, Wing Commander 5, 2208, and Wing Commander 3, 2219. Fly safe, keep it real, I'll see you in the verse. This is Daniel Raymond with Ray's Guide.